So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that just because it is, you know, a bit more than three lines long. But let's read it and let's see exactly what it's asking us to do. So the question says the number of states that joined the United States between 1776 and 1849 is twice the number of states that joined between 1850 and 1900. So I'm going to just make a little translation of that starting off with the 1850 to 1900 is an unknown value, right? So I'm going to call that X. But between 1776 and 1849, we know that that value is two times this unknown value. So that value is 2X. So that's, that's simply the translation of the first sentence. So I'm definitely using my TWP strategy here. So the next sentence says, if 30 states joined the United States between 1776 and 1849, it's like, oh, okay, well, that means that I put a 30 here, but if this is 2x and 2x is equal to 30, right? Because I'm saying that 30 is in that column with the 2x, that tells me that x had to have been 15, which means there must be 15 there. So if 30 states joined the United States between 1776 and 1849, and X states joined between 1850 and 1900, oh, so I'd already put that, but it's also there. So if you hadn't done what I did initially, the question literally tells you to say that there's X states joining between 1850 and 1900. Which of the following is true? So is it true that 30X equals 2? No, it's not, right? So I have 2X equals 30. Is it true that 2x equals 30? Yes, it is. And therefore, choice B is the correct answer. So this is a very odd question because obviously this is not simplified. So if there was an x equals 15 as an option, I'd choose that over 2x equals 30. Um, however, I've never really seen a question have answers like that where one is not simplified and another is simplified. So in this case, the 2x equals 30 is how we got um, to our 15, so that's the right answer. So what's missing? The question does tell you to put X here, but the question does not tell you to say 2X under 1776 to 1849. At least it doesn't tell you to do that directly or as, as explicitly as it does to say that um, we have X states between 1850 and 1900. So, you know, it's good. It's a good idea to practice this translation of word problem and making sure that you don't just keep on reading and really take account for what did I just read? What does it mean, right? It means this is happening here where I don't know what the value is, but over here, I do know that it's two times it. And then once you put all that stuff together, typically the answer will easily reveal itself.